an incredible environment. I thought, um, you know, South Carolina had an incredible home court advantage with the fans. Kudos to Coach and her program and, and them just winning. So you know, I thought the envir environment was great. <clears throat> You know, the game was pretty close at halftime, I believe, within 10 points, and there was that spurt in the middle of the third quarter uh, where the game guys kind of leaped ahead. Just what did you see in that spurt? Was it foul trouble, fatigue? Just just what, what, what put you guys down? I just – I didn't think we – I thought that every time we got something going, a whistle was blown. And they shot 42 free throws. And I'm sure we fouled them. But I thought it was very difficult. I mean, I had to play people I just don't need to be playing in this type of environment. And uh, kudos to South Carolina because they have depth. And that is their strength. It's not their first wave. It's the second and third and fourth wave that they have that makes them dangerous. And so, you know, when Maddie and 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 um, Slim Taya got two fouls in in a minute, and they were in the bonus, that made it very difficult for us Coach, to get in the flow. Coach, how much of an impact has your relationship with Don Staley had on you, both professionally and personally? Um, it's been great. I mean, Coach is a mentor for me. Um, and I've been competing with her ever since I've been coaching. You know, my first NCAA tournament game was here against Elena Coates and, and Asia Wilson. So I'm not any stranger to, you know, this environment, this place, and, you know, and, uh, you know, I mean, Coach has been a great example for all of us. So. Speaking of coach, there's so much parity and battle happening right now in that two, three, four range in the standings for the SEC. What does it say about Dawn and this program that they're able to stay just in front of that this whole time? Uh, I think it just says that they are the standard. Oh, sorry. Um, South Carolina obviously forced, I think it was 21 turnovers today. Is there mm -hmm. anything they were doing specifically to you guys? Maybe just more of an off day from you guys kind of led to that? Well, we've been turning the ball over a lot. So, you know, I would love to give them the credit, but we've we, we just been turning that thing over. So, um, you know, I thought that they were really locked in on trying to stop some of our players. And I don't think we did a good job with our decision making. Um, just having a shot, a rim pro a protector in there. Uh, makes a difference. And so some things that we would just go to the basket with, uh, we just couldn't get there. And, you know, that's a huge difference. We, there's nobody else in the conference that has a rim protector um, like Camilla. So that, that helps with the turning the ball over. Uh, Coach, you spoke about your familiarity with Don Staley and with this program. What makes this year's team different from those of years past? My team or? This, this South Carolina team. Don't y'all ask every coach this and they give y'all an answer? Like, what, what do y'all think I'm gonna give? Something that new? I, it's the same thing everyone's been saying. <laughs> They're talented. They're the number one team in the country. They can score. They have depth. Coach is great. Anything about my team? Coach, you mentioned in your press conference kind of previewing this week that Fifth year seniors and transfers are giving the sport a little bit more parity. Mm -hmm. One of those players for you guys is Marquisha Davis. What kind of impact has she had on the program in the two years that she's been here? There we go. Uh, Quiz has been great. She didn't show up tonight. I was disappointed with that. Um, but she's been great for us. Um, you know, she has, this is the first time she hadn't scored 20 points in like four games. So, you know, kudos to South Carolina and their defense and the environment. I do believe in home court advantage. It's tough to play here. Um, it, has, it has always been. Um, but I, I'm disappointed with her play today.
but that does not take away from who she is for our team and what she's been able to do. She's, she's dynamic, and um, it's just unfortunate she didn't really show that today. But maybe, they, maybe it's them. I watched the film. Maybe they just did a really good job of focusing on her. You let um, your team is used to winning this year. You came in with a four-game streak. How confident are you they'll be able to kind of flush what happened today and get get themselves right for mm -hmm. the rest of the season? Well, I'll tell you this. I'm not going to go in there and start spazzing out. Has anybody beat them? Okay, so we're just a part of the community. <laughs> you know, no one's beat them. So we tried, and hopefully we can try again in the tournament. But hopefully this year I'm not a four seed. I'm sick and tired of seeing them in the semis. I'd like to see them in the championship if possible. So if you want to know what we're going to be focusing on, staying out of fourth place. Because in my opinion, they're the number one team in the country and in the conference.